get up every day intending to do your very best for God, knowing ahead of time that you're not going to hit the mark 100% perfect, but believing that God is more than enough to cover your sins and take care of them. God doesn't want you to live in the torment of self-doubt. Believe you can hear from God. Believe God loves you. Believe He's got a good plan for your life. Believe that there's no mistake that you can make that is too great for God to turn it around and make it a miracle in your life. How often do you get up to say, Father, I want to thank you that you are my strength today. And if you have a job that's very difficult, do you ever say to him, Lord, I need, I need your strength today to get this done. I don't even know how I'm, how I'm going to be able to do what I'm supposed to do. You're my strength. And what you've done is you, you have invited the Lord God into your life, so to speak, through his Holy Spirit to enable you and strengthen you, encourage you, and, don't, and does not let you quit. Because with him, you can accomplish anything God has set before you to accomplish. The devil always wants to tell you what you're not. But see, whatever you're not, Jesus will make up for it and make you more than enough if you put your faith in him. And don't, don't always go around saying, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, how many times in my life did I get up early in the morning to spend time with God and I would pray and study the Bible. And I mean, every time I would get done, the devil would make me feel like I prayed wrong. I didn't pray in the right posture. I didn't pray in the right position. I didn't pray long enough. God didn't hear me. And I had to learn to stop believing those lies and stop doubting myself. And you know what? That may be one of the most important things that you'll hear for a long time. Stop doubting yourself. You know what? God believes in you, but it's not going to do you any good if you don't believe in you too. Every day of our life, every day of your life is a gift from God. It's not to be wasted and to say, well, I'm not going to do anything today. You can speak, you can walk, you can handle things, you can help. Many things you and I can do until the last day of our life. You and I should be serving him in some fashion. And it's not how long you live. It's what you do with your life. God has a purpose for your life. You need to find out what it is and give him your life and ask him to build strength into your life so that whatever years you have left, you don't want to waste them. In other words, if, you, if there's a purpose for your living, there are goals in that purpose, things that he wants you to accomplish. And oftentimes a person won't, they won't set a goal in their life because they think, well, that's too high. God would never do that for me. So they get down here. No. Listen, is God weak? No. God's great. He's powerful. He's omniscient. We should set godly goals, godly goals for our life that look, look like it's something we can't do. But God will help you reach it if you're willing to walk the pathway of obedience and faith and an optimistic spirit trusting Him in everything you do. Are you frustrated about your limited success financially, professionally, academically? Are you frustrated with your lack of success? Have you tried your best and produced nothing? Listen, make failure your teacher, not your undertaker. Make failure your teacher and not your undertaker. Persistence overcomes resistance. Persistence is the willingness to give another try rather than to look for an alibi. Persistence finds a way while others are looking for an excuse. You're not finished until you think you are. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you won't. If you want to win but don't think you can win, you won't win. If you think you're outclassed, you are. If you think like a champion, you can be a champion, but you will not be a champion until you think like a champion. Let us remember as we live our lives that God in heaven has empowered us to do the impossible. You have that authority. What are you doing with it?